FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And uh, first of all guys, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy Holidays. I hope you guys had a great uh, day yesterday. And I uh, hope you got to spend a lot of time with your family and uh, and your loved ones. So, hope you guys had an awesome day. Um, now, I'm, on this video, guys, we're just going to review uh, three trades uh, that were available during the U.S. session this morning. Um, so, just wanted to, to share these trades here with you. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So, the first one here is uh, Euro AUD. And as you can see here... On Euro AUD, we ended up getting a nice railroad track here, um, right at 11 o'clock, and that produced about 85 to 90 pips, depending on where you got in and out of. Um, but it was definitely a nice little clean, good, clear setup for us. Um, and this ended up being a uh, more of a possibly a type, you know, three setup. Uh, since it tried to go back to the middle of the range here of Asia. Um, but that was the first setup that we found here. One of the things that I did want to you guys to to see on this before we move on to the other ones is if we started the week here on the 23rd, right? We had the initial move up, and then the second day we came up and we made basically a multi-session M, and we came down, right? So we could see potentially uh, some more movement down. We could see a move back up. Who knows? But I just wanted to mention that to you guys so you guys can see this. Um, and this is a, true on a lot of other pairs as well where you see the initial move happened to go up and then it came back down and retested the highs um, and then moved straight away from it. Um, so if you were, you know, if you were really paying attention to this back during, uh, Asian session, you could have caught this way earlier, but, but yes, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that to, to you guys' attention. So one thing that you guys, if you look at the other pairs, um, like this one here, you know, same thing. It started the week here, made a false move down, and then it came up made the uh, the M formation here and then down so we could start to see essentially this being like a, a level one move down for level two so we could see something like this play out you know where we have sideways movement and then another drop sideways movement and then another drop um, so just keep that in mind and you're going to learn all about this uh, in the next as we move forward through the market maker series um, of videos, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys that the week started here and you can see that already We've already, we already made the initial moves um, And then come back down already off of them um, so anyways uh, USD JPY uh, here We got a very very nice setup here a beautiful star pattern here um, right at uh, 11 11 15 uh, Eastern time so you can see here we're at a, a type 2 setup and we just get a, a very beautiful uh, star pattern uh, this one produced I believe about 75 pips 80 pips or so uh, depending on where you got in and out um, but you could have taken up as much as uh, 95 pips or so on this particular trade but very clear very nice setup on USD Jappy um, and then the last one here was Euro NZD and same thing here where um, we have a type 3 setup you see it came back to the middle of the Asian range so that'll be a type 3 and we just got a nice beautiful star pattern again clears day um, and that was a very easy trade to get into um, that netted about 70 pips or so depending on where you got out of in and out of um, but definitely three good, really good trades um, that were very clear and obvious um, during the U.S. session. And I can't stress it enough, we want the clear and obvious. We don't want something that we're guessing at. If it's not clear, we don't take it. Okay, so it's got to be clear on the patterns. If it's not, then we just skip over it. You know, you can, you can look to, uh, example, EURUSD made this unbelievably awesome move, right? But at the end of the day, 
we didn't take it because it didn't have anything that we're looking for. It didn't give us, it didn't meet any of our criteria for entering, uh, you know, this particular trade. So as, as great and as lovely as it is, you know, we didn't get anything. This I can tell this is a type three setup because it came back to the middle of the range. But the problem is that we didn't get any kind of any kind of M formation or star pattern, road road tracks, anything like that to to let us know to get into the trade. So because of that, we did not I didn't get into this trade. You know, as as great as it is, you know, if it doesn't meet the criteria, then I'm not gonna get into the trade. And that's because I'm looking to get 80 to 90% of, of my trades correct. And I can't do that if I'm not following my own rules. If, if clearly, if I'm seeing something or if I'm not seeing something. All right, guys. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this short video here. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys took any trades today. Um, were you successful in any of them? Did you fail any of them? Uh, let me know. I'm curious to find out what you guys uh, did today for trading. All right, guys, until next time, have a good one. Guys, one last thing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate the fact that you take the time to watch my videos. I really hope that I've added value in each of the videos that I make for you guys, and I hope that you're learning something. As always, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please like and share the videos if you found value in them. And also, don't forget to visit our website at www.fxntrading.com. Once again, guys, thank you so much. I'm truly blessed.